Welcome to today's video. This video is not a really funny one. It is kind of pissing me off. Look, look. Yesterday evening, pictures on the screen, I sat on the sea, smoked a cigar, enjoyed my time, and thought like, yo, Celticus turn 9, the admin's gonna push out some cool content in the next two or three days. For sure. Because that one event that no developing team of any game is supposed to fuck up is the anniversary of the game. And naturally, when you fuck up the anniversary, nobody expected that to happen. Look, look. Every anniversary of Celtic Heroes, the admins pushed out some nice stuff and everybody was somewhat of happy. This year, nothing. Nothing. There were rumors going around that a update is supposed to come with a new area and stuff. That's gonna be the last update for the next two or three or five years. They said that. That's not an official source that said it, but it was somebody else like, yo, I work with the team, or I know the team, they talked about it and stuff like that. So everybody believed that guy, and I was like, it was sketchy, it was sketchy. I was like, nah, nah, they're gonna fuck it up. And look what happened, they fucked up the anniversary. So the only thing we will get for the birthdays thing is this stupid Eggy and Mortis. These two bosses, nobody gives a fuck about these two bosses. Everybody in Endgame community, this is a kick in the crotch. From the developing team right there. So as I'm sipping my coffee, I'm getting really mad. Oh god, disconnected. The fuck, who cares? Continue to video this way. So what you're not supposed to do as an admin is fuck up the anniversary. So why did they fuck it up? Let me explain you something. Let me explain you something about the new developing team. And this coffee is good. It's, it's chilling me a little bit. We don't have any connection to the server, it's some bullshit going on, my internet is fine, it keeps on lagging out every once in a while, this is stupid shit going on anyways. So the new developing team, right? There are some lazy ass motherfuckers. There's some lazy ass motherfuckers. Do you guys remember like two years ago they were like, yo, we're learning the new engine. Yeah, the fuck they didn't learn the engine. <laughs> they didn't learn shit, dude. They didn't produce any content, they didn't do anything else. And I know this may be a harsh opinion, but this is just really... I'm just mirroring what the whole Endgame community is thinking right now. They are letting the game die. And it's on a good way of dying. Why shouldn't you let a game die in the first place? Because first of all, it's an income source. I know Caretaker is not bringing in the much money that a team needs to develop the, uh, the game with more people and stuff like that. No worries, I understand that, but at least push something out for the existing community. Because there's people waiting and people playing this game every day. And we're not getting shit back from the new admins. Like, is it too much? They could have made us happy if they even added a fucking Snorri Laystone right now. They didn't do that. They could make us happy when they just release a new area with some dungeons in finally. Some small bosses. Some alternate drops for everything. Would be cool. They could have pushed out a Diotu in red. Like a glowing red dragon. With a different kind of system also in the Switch, if you have so that the, the concurrence, the brother or whatever it was of the the U2, they could have pushed all that easy content out there and it wouldn't be hard to make. Just change some colors, change some systems around, put some clocks on that shit and throw it out. And people would have enjoyed it. They would have actually enjoyed it. They could have finally brought back mounts and chests and still stuff like that, like the good fashion sets, none of this token bullshit. I could have just pushed out some good content, made the game enjoyable again, but they didn't. And that is what I'm always telling you guys. If you want to play the game in 2020, just don't do it right now. Don't do it, but it makes no sense. Unless you already have an endgame character, don't start playing this game. If you are somewhere stuck in level 80 to 150, do not continue at this point. Just take your time somewhere else, have fun with friends or something like that. Playing this game right now. It's just a kick in the crotch all the time you log in. And that's really annoying because this game was something else back then. It was cool, it was fun. But nowadays, they don't even care about it anymore. They'll just abandon this game. And if there is a surprise update coming out in the next week, fuck it, boys. That's the best thing ever. But they do not keep the players on track with updates. They just don't try to announce everything in the forums. There's no patch list there's nothing going on it's it's just like 
they basically put themselves into quarantine and we players are the fucking coronavirus and we cannot get in on that. So it's kind of stupid. It feels like getting kicked in the crotch and I just really hope that any admin team or developing team, whatever, they see this. And guys, if you cannot develop Celtic Heroes, if you focus on Warhammer that much, just fucking sell Celtic Heroes, okay? Sell it to the next best company and let them do their thing. And yes, I know you're busy developing Warhammer, but Celtic Heroes was around before Warhammer, so focus on Celtic Heroes as well. You got a dying community. It's, it's sad, man. It's fucking pissing people off. Alright, with that being said, have a fucked up weekend, boys. I'm gonna get drunk as fuck. Uh, see you later. so serious